Gasoline is a commodity everyone pays attention to as it is an important part to everyday living. The U.S. consumes 134 billion gallons of gasoline a day, enough to fill 720 oil tankers cost an average American over $2,000 at the pump each year. The question many have is where does all this money go? Is it all going to the oil companies, the owners of the gas stations? Though the political narrative is that the oil companies manipulate the price of gas for self-benefit, the price of gas is affected by several different factors. These factors, according to the Department of Energy, create the high prices we see today are taxes, which take up 11% of the cost, distribution and marketing taken 7%, refining taken up to 15%, and the cost of crude oil itself running the highest at 67%. Breaking down this information a little farther, let's take a single gallon of gas at the national average of $3.67 and see the cost breakdown. Taxes make up 11% of the cost of a gallon of gasoline, or 48.8 cents. In this, the federal government gets 18.4 cents, while taxes vary between states, which averages 30 cents. The states of New York, California, and Hawaii have the highest, while the states of Alaska, Wyoming, and New Jersey have the lowest. Moving to distribution and marketing, and at 7%, only 25.7 cents is used and spans advertisement, promotion, as well as transportation and hauling costs. Coming in as the second highest factor is refining. Refining, defined by the website How Stuff Works, defines refining as a process of taking crude oil and processing it into various different products, one of which is gasoline. This process takes 55 cents on average per gallon of gasoline, or 15%, but roughly depends on the fluctuating price of crude oil. Due to the enormous cost to build and maintain refineries, no new refineries have been built since 1976. Now, taking on the most significant factor and cost for gasoline we come to crude oil. This takes 67% of the cost and equates to $2.46 as shown by the U.S. Energy Information Administration. The price of crude oil depends mainly on three factors. First, the quality of the crude oil. Next, OPEC, which is made up of the largest oil producing nations, manipulate the cost to keep the price of crude oil up to benefit their own nations. Last, emerging economies of China and India have created huge needs for crude oil, driving the price of crude oil on the international open market. Answering our question, where does our money go when we buy a gallon of gasoline at the pump, we clearly see that our money goes to the price of crude oil, the cost of refining, shipping and distributing, and taxes. Finally, as we close, let's quickly look at some more statistics, mainly at what two oil companies paid in taxes compared to their profits, according to a USA Today news article. 